SpaceX aimed to cap off 2023 with a monumental Falcon Heavy launch, ferrying a U.S. military space plane. SpaceX Falcon 9 Booster B-1058 incident, which tipped over and lost a part in the depths of the ocean. However, the anticipation was clouded by unfortunate news. A farewell to the esteemed Booster 1058 after completing 19 flawless landings. This Falcon 9 booster holds immense importance, serving as SpaceX's vehicle for delivering cargo and crew to space. Beyond its utility, it stands as a significant milestone in American aviation, marking the end of over a decade-long reliance on Russian counterparts. SpaceX B-1058 Aftermath explained, what next? And what did Elon Musk have to say about it? Let's find out in today's episode. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of my channel. December 26, 2023, the first U.S. commercial rocket to launch astronauts into orbit, has met its end after being destroyed during its latest post-flight recovery. Referred to by SpaceX by its serial number B-1058, the Falcon 9 first stage was being transported back to shore after its record-setting 19th flight when the booster tipped over due to high winds and waves, the company reported on X on the 25th. Two days earlier, the stage had helped launch 23 of SpaceX's Starlink broadband satellites before successfully touching down on the company's drone ship just read the instructions, which was stationed in the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Florida. Many had hoped it would return in at least somewhat good condition, but no such luck. Photos shared online of the returning ship revealed that only the lower segment of B-1058 remained, with three of its four landing lakes still deployed and all nine of its Merlin engines still intact although some were distorted. A closer inspection reveals intriguing scuff marks on the engine nozzles, evidence of their exposure to exhaust gases during landing. Quite a fascinating detail, moreover, the redesigned booster core offers a more intricate view of its internal components, notably the revamped COPS or composite overwrapped pressure vessels introduced after the CRS-7 incident. To be honest, it seems that the loss of booster 1058 is not overly concerning for SpaceX. Right after SpaceX shared the iconic booster's fate, Elon Musk, the head of the company, posted a magnificent image of B-1058's landing and simply tweeted, The future is bright. The implication is to focus on the best things in the future, and there are undoubtedly many more exciting developments to come. So, B-1058, thank you for your service. John Edwards, SpaceX's VP of Falcon Launch Vehicles, wrote on X. We are planning to salvage the engines and do life leader inspections on the remaining hardware. There is still quite a bit of value in this booster. We will not let it go to waste. Additionally, Kiko Donsev, the Senior Director of Launch and Recovery Operations at SpaceX, explained on X why Booster 1058 could be easily toppled by strong winds. It turns out that a tippy booster occurs under specific landing conditions where the legs experience uneven loading. Heavy winds or rough sea conditions can cause the booster to teeter and slide, worsening the leg loading. Securing it with the Octa Grabber, or OG in this state, is extremely challenging and often only partially successful. Following a severe tippy booster incident two years ago on Christmas, the first flight of B-1068, SpaceX developed self-leveling legs. That instantly equalized leg loads upon landing. Anyway, most of the fleet is equipped with this feature but due to its age, 1058 wasn't. Its fate was sealed when it encountered intense wind and waves resulting in the failure of a partially secured OG less than 100 miles from home. And he also affirmed that one thing is for sure. We will make lemonade out of lemons and learn as much as possible from historic 1058 on our path to aircraft-like operations. Indeed, an old rocket, like 1058, is crucial for the company to gather invaluable flight data. It'll contribute to helping SpaceX advance its groundbreaking thrust reuse efforts. I see the flight rate can only occur if I can increase reliability so that they're not competing entities. A SpaceX official shared with Ars Technica. The official also said SpaceX might extend the limit on Falcon 9 booster flights beyond 20, the number at which Falcon 9s are currently certified for Starlink missions. Even achieving 40 to 50 reuse cycles for the booster is something that SpaceX can easily accomplish in the future. Although the loss of B-1058 is incredibly regrettable, it came remarkably close to achieving the milestone of 20 successful flights. With 19 successful launches and landings, it remains an outstanding achievement all on its own. 
it went out, but in a blaze of glory, becoming a legacy of its reliability and exceptional service that'll forever be honored and remembered in the annals of space exploration history. However, B-1058 holds significance not only for its 19 successful reuse missions, but also for its historical importance in carrying NASA astronauts to the International Space Station from U.S. soil for the first time in nearly a decade. It was a nine-year gap in the United States' ability to launch astronauts into low Earth orbit, and it was the first achievement of its kind by a commercial spacecraft. Lost with the upper segment of B-1058 was unique. The booster was the only stage in SpaceX's fleet to be adorned with the space agency's warm logo type. Across alongside the upper segment of B-1058 was a distinct, unmistakable emblem marking its role in launching the first astronauts for NASA. It was the sole stage among SpaceX's fleet adorned with the space agency's iconic worm logo. The remaining section of B-1058 was transported to Port Canaveral aboard the drone ship Just Read the Instructions on Tuesday, December 26. Most of the engine section of the rocket appeared to be intact, judging from photos and three of the four landing legs jutted into the air, propped open as they were following the booster's landing. Looking from the top of the booster remnants, wires were drawn out and strewn over the edge of the drone ship dragging in the water as the vessel made it back to its dock. Now while B-1058 will never fly again, SpaceX fully intends to preserve what's left and understand what they can. We are planning to salvage the engines and do life leader inspections on the remaining hardware, said John Edwards, the VP of Launch Vehicles and Falcon 9 product director at SpaceX. There's still quite a bit of value in this booster. We will not let it go to waste. I'm talking about NASA's logo. On May 30, 2020, B-1058 lifted off for the first time on SpaceX's Demo-2, or shortened to DM-2, mission carrying NASA astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley aboard the company's Crew Dragon. Capsule Endeavor The two-month-long mission to the International Space Station was the first to launch American astronauts from the United States since the end of NASA's space shuttle program in 2011. Even before Hurley and Behnken returned home from their 63-day mission, B-1058 had already wrapped up a second flight, launching again the following 20th of July with the geostationary-bound ANASIS-2 military communications satellite for the government of South Korea. In doing so, it established a new empirical record, now broken, of only 51 days between pairs of launches by the same orbital-class booster, eclipsing an old space shuttle record that had stood for more than three decades. B-1058 then entered a regular cadence of launch operations, successfully delivering 625 Starlink low-orbiting internet communications satellites to orbit via the multi-payload transporter one rideshare flight in January of 2021 and 14 dedicated missions between October of 2020 and last weekend. Notably, transporter one saw it loft the highest number of discrete payloads, a whopping 143, tipping the scales at around 5,000 kilograms, the most ever launched by a single U.S. orbital-class rocket. Other payloads included the first cargo dragon to fly to the ISS under the second round commercial resupply services 2 contract. Launched in December of 2020, the month-long CRS-21 mission saw B-1058 help deliver over 2,900 kilograms of equipment and supplies to the incumbent Expedition 64 crew and return around 2,000 kilos of unneeded gear and experiment results back to Earth. Included in 1058's ISS-bound hull was the Bishop Commercial Airlock, developed jointly by Thelzelania Space, Boeing and Nanoracks for installation onto the station's Tranquility Node. CRS-21 became the first cargo dragon to autonomously dock rather than robotically berth using the Canadarm-2 manipulator. And in launching it, 1058 also marked SpaceX's 100th fully successful Falcon 9 mission. Although her launch log has been overwhelmingly dominated by Starlink with over 73% of her 19 flights devoted to the Internet Communications Network, B-1058 also lifted the 105 Payload Transporter 3 on her own 10th mission in January of 2022. Moving on, what next? Previously, SpaceX's CEO Elon Musk had boldly declared the future is bright. Following the loss of 1058, SpaceX is reported to possess 16 flight-proven operational Falcon 9 first stages, while three others are yet to embark on their maiden voyages. At the forefront of the current fleet are three boosters, B-1060, 61 and 62, each having accomplished 17 missions. 
be 1060 in September with the others achieving their milestone in the recent past. Following closely are two others with 15 flights to their credit, along with three more that have already surpassed the 10 mission mark. Additionally, a dozen others comprising single-stick Falcon 9s or Falcon Heavy side boosters await either their subsequent flights or the launch of their inaugural missions in the imminent days and weeks. The company stated that newer Falcon boosters have upgraded landing legs with the capability to self-level and mitigate this type of issue. In a separate post, Kiko Donsev, the vice president of launch for SpaceX, elaborated by adding that while they mostly outfitted the rest of the operational Falcon booster fleet, B-1058 was left as it was given its age. The rocket met its fate when it hit intense wind and waves resulting in failure of a partially secured octograbber less than 100 miles from home. We came up with self-leveling legs that immediately equalized leg loads on landing after experiencing a severe tippy booster two years ago on Christmas. Don Sev wrote, referring to the first flights of the B-1069 booster. From historic 1058, on our path to aircraft-like operations, he added. To date, SpaceX has retired four of its earlier flown Falcon 9 stages for public display. B-1019, the first to return to its launch site for a successful landing, today stands outside the company's headquarters in Hawthorne, California. B-1035, which launched two Dragon cargo missions to the International Space Station, is now exhibited on its side at Space Center Houston in Texas. B-1023, which helped launch Musk's Tesla Roadster into space as a side booster on the first Falcon. Heavy Rocket Launch is now a part of the Gateway the Deep Space Launch Complex attraction at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex in Florida. And B-1021, the first booster to be reflown and the first to land on a drone ship, was just recently installed outside DISH Network's headquarters in Littleton, Colorado. B-1058, considering its involvement in DM-2, would have stood shoulder to shoulder with these other boosters in terms of historical significance. Presumably, it might have been a worthy addition to the National Air and Space Museum's collection. Yet as much as viewing rockets in museums is captivating, that's not their primary purpose. Rockets are mechanical wonders crafted to transcend Earth's gravitational pull. Their rightful place is in the skies, achieving what they were meticulously designed for until their missions are complete. SpaceX, by pushing booster reuse to its limits, considered rockets like B-1058 invaluable for gathering crucial flight data. And that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in and that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and if you want to support our channel and if you want to be up to date you can become an exclusive member so click on our perks through the link the description below thanks to watching and see you next time